Just one bite. And I remember being in my garden, seeing all these mosquitoes. One bite is all it took to change Marie Hillman's life forever. I'm not older. I was a healthy 40-year-old woman that was very, very active with a lot of energy. And um, it's taken, it's changed my life. In the summer of 2006, Marie Hellman was working in her yard in winters when a mosquito infected with West Nile virus bit her. A lot of fatigue. And then by that evening, vertigo, uh, nausea, extreme nausea to the point I was like crawling to the bathroom. It would take doctors several visits and missed diagnoses before discovering that the virus was inside Marie. And by the time I got to the top of my head, it felt like two cast iron skillets just hitting me and I would leave out a scream and I'd pass out. There is no cure for West Nile virus. Doctors can only help manage the pain. So all Marie's family could do was watch as the symptoms got worse. I guess I was in a coma, I was told, and my husband had signed my DNR and my organs started shutting down. Thought to be on her deathbed, Marie miraculously woke up from her coma 15 days later. She was alive, but the symptoms of the virus would follow her forever. Vision loss, light sensitivity, optical nerve damage in both of my eyes, dizziness. I still, and now I have seizures. Um, didn't know I was having seizures. I've had two strokes. I'm on meds for the rest of my life. We're already starting to see virus activity. Just two weeks ago, we found our very first two birds that tested positive for the virus. West Nile virus is in the Sacramento Valley now, and because of our wet spring. The Sacramento Yolo County Mosquito and Vector Control District is urging people to prepare. West Nile virus is our top priority because that's the one that obviously, you know, the one that we that we know is here and we know that it affects people, you know, year after year. Luz Maria Robles says West Nile virus is now considered an endemic and since 2003 there's been more than 7,600 Californians that have been seriously infected and more than 300 of them have died from the virus. This is a collaborative effort. We can't do this alone. We really ask for people to do their part. West Nile virus generally starts in birds, and if mosquitoes bite an infected bird, they can transmit it to humans. Dead birds can also be a good indicator of where West Nile virus is. So vector control laboratories are asking the public to report dead bird sightings so they can come out and test for the virus. So right here we have a lot of standing water. Prevention is the first step to fighting the bite. District Inspector David Smith was sent to this home in Natomas to look for eggs and larvae. He says mosquitoes lay eggs in standing water and they only need about a bottle cap full to survive. It only takes about three days for those eggs to hatch off once the mosquitoes have laid their eggs and a total of a week, seven to 10 days for them to go through that full mosquito life cycle. Inspections are a free service provided by the Vector Control District. David works with homeowners to point out problematic areas like the water that accumulates in trash cans or flower pots after watering. If mosquitoes are airborne, he'll either spray or set mosquito traps. Please give us a call. We're here to help. We're here to serve you. We offer free home service inspections, free repellent wipes for your outdoor evening. Prevention is only part of fighting the bite. Protection is also important. The CDC recommends covering up anytime you go outside with long clothing or using mosquito repellent that contains DEET. You know, I'm more scared for the younger people too because everyone seems to think that it's an older person's infection and this is what happens and that's not true at all. Um, anybody can get West Nile virus. I mean, we don't think about our kids being out doing sports outside, okay? They sweat. Mosquitoes are attracted to sweat. Reporting on the transmission of West Nile virus, I'm John Bartell.